YouTubers, this is Superman G coming back at you one more again. Have you ever been asked the questions, what type of computer do you have? How much memory do you have? What graphics card do you have? What processor you have? If you've been asked a lot of these questions and you're not exactly sure of the answers, there's a program that may help you with that. Now, most beginners or novices or people who just not computer literate do not have the answers to those types of questions. Those are questions that they don't really think about answering because as long as the computer is working, they really don't apply. But for those who've always wondered if there is a simpler way to find out what components are in the computer, then I have a web page or a program that you can download and install on your computer that will tell you everything you need to know that's built into your computer and it is all for free. This program has been around for a very long time, since like 2002, I believe. So it's been, you know, almost 20 years since it's been on. You just want to open up a web browser, whichever web browser you use, and you're going to type in Bellark. As you can see, it's already spelled out. Dot com. And press enter. There it is. So this is the actual web page of the Bellark program. And they have different, you know, products, introduction of what they are and but what you're looking for is this Belloc Advisor right here. So you're going to click on the B, and this will bring you to the Belloc Advisor page. And it tells you the Belloc Advisor builds a detailed profile of your installed software and hardware, network inventory, or any missing Microsoft hotfixes, antivirus status, security benchmarks, and displays the results in your web browser. All of your PC profile information is kept private on your PC and is not sent to any web server. It also have, has which operating systems that it runs on, Windows 10, 8.1, 8, 7, Vista, XP rather, uh, both 32 and 64-bit Windows, and it can run on Mac. Uh, Linux and other operating systems. You just have to make sure that uh, you have any one of those operating systems and you should be good to go. Now this is, as I've said, this is free and it's not really a big file. It's probably about, this says 3768 kilobytes which is about 3 megs. Next you want to click on download a free copy of Belloc Advisor. Now it's going to ask you to fill out this form by um, putting your email address, first name, last name, and organization. You just need to put in your email address because it's going to send the file or the download to your email address. And then I'm just going to click on start download. It's going to ask him if I am a human. No, so it's going to ask me to check out some pictures for traffic lights. Click verify and send download. Click here for your download and I'm going to put it in my downloads. Like I said, it's a very small file so it should be done. And if you want to run an antivirus scan on it, I highly recommend that you do that. I'm going to bring this over so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to right click and do a scan. Make sure there are no viruses or anything like that on the program itself. And as you can see, McAfee didn't find any viruses. So I can close that out. One more thing I'm going to do is run a malware byte scan. Make sure there are no adware or spyware inside or in that and let it run and as you can see everything's good nothing came up 
close that out. Now we can go ahead and start the process of installing it or opening it up. I'm going to close that out. You can close that out. Let me bring this over so you can see what I'm doing. I have two windows, which is why I have to drag one from the other side. This is the license agreement. You want to click agree. Uh, bring this over. Welcome to the Bellock Advisor Setup Program. Click the install button. Start the install process. I gotta bring everything over because it's jumping to my first window. Uh, it's gonna prepare to analyze this computer. Would you like to check for new advisor security features? You can say yes if you want to. And it's going to receive the data. Your advisor security definitions are up to date. Click OK. Another license agreement. Click I agree. And it's going to basically look at your computer and it's going to find out what components you have installed on your computers. Everything from the network, um, your hard drive, your processor, memory is going to check every single thing in your computer. And, and the, the beneficial thing about this is that you can actually save this to your computer. You can save it on a file on your computer. You can actually save it on a little flash drive or a thumb drive so that if you need to be if you need to answer those questions you can just place it in and it'll bring up everything that you have on your computer as long as you haven't done any major changes like switched out the processor or the memory everything should be exactly the same when you start this program and once it finishes now if you've made changes such as uh, you changed out your graphics card or you changed out your processor or you just completely redid a totally new computer you need to run the program again because you don't want to run you don't want to keep the old findings of the Belloc advisor so when you run it again it's going to tell you what the new findings of your computer is you can also save that again to a flash drive or a file on your computer and if you need to uh, bring it back up you can just search for wherever you placed it and pull it up and that way you'll be able to answer all those questions that you are asked from the computer technician that is trying to find out what your computer components are now it's possible that a computer tech can actually log into your computer with your permission to find out what components you have using various other programs and things of that nature but this is just the one way of doing it so now here we are this is the web browser that it launched in and it is going to show that this is the computer uh, profile date the advisor version number um, the operating system which is here Windows 10 Professional, it gives you the version number, the build number, it gives you when it was installed, the system model of the computer, this is the BIOS right here, the processor, which is a 3.7 gigahertz AMD Ryzen 7 2700, you also have memory here, the 32,716 megabytes, which is 32 gigs and it shows you where each memory module is stored I have four DIMM slots and there's a memory there's an 8 gig memory module in each slot shows you the main circuit board which is basically the motherboard tells you that, that this is a uh, this is an MSI which stands for MicroStar International the X470 Gaming M7AC motherboard Serial number, bus clock, uh, you just need to know what the board manufacturer is. You don't have to worry about the serial number, or bus clock, or anything like that. It tells you the type of drives that are built that you have in your computer or that are connected to the motherboard. Um, it doesn't really tell you the name, which, um, oh, here it is down here, the name, I'm sorry. 
uh, this is the Crucial, this is the Samsung, and then I have a Western Digital. And uh, so that's three drives I have. These are your local drives, the same drives I was just mentioning over here. And it shows you the drive, the letters of the drives, the size of the drives, how much capacity the drive is and how much is left. And network drives, I don't have one. Users, it shows you the users, what type of printers you have, controllers, display. This is for your monitors, uh, bus adapters, multimedia, virus protection, group policies, communications, other devices. USB storage use in past 30 days. It's, it's actually a lot more detailed than what I remember it to be because I haven't used this in probably almost 20 years. Um, hosted virtual machines, network map, it tells you a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Software licenses, um, software versions, and use, I mean, this is very well detailed, but remember, this only stays on your computer. This is not being sent out to any place or anyone is gaining it. So if you want to print this out, you can print it out if you choose. You can save this on a flash drive or a thumb drive if you choose. And that's pretty much it. So hopefully this is something that you will look into or look at getting. It's very informative. It's very helpful. And it gives you a lot of information so that if someone has to ask you that question or those questions that you have no idea of what they're talking about, hopefully this will help you with that. So I hope this helps you guys out. You all take care, be safe, and peace out.